In this video, we're gonna see how to create our own MCP server using Python. So before we proceed here, what's the need for MCP server? So without the MCP server, you cannot access the external data from your LLM. So the LLM cannot access the external data. It can be their files located on your desktop or it can be any database. It can be anything. So the LLM cannot access the external sources. It can be Gmail, Google Drive or anything. You can see that I also show you the demo. What I mean when I say we cannot access external data, you can see that when I ask can you access my desktop files? You can see that you cannot access the desktop files or any other files located on our computer. I also ask a prompt like, can you access my Google Drive? It also cannot access our Google Drive. You can see that it says, I cannot access your Google Drive. But with the help of MCP, you can do that. Let me show you now. I have already enabled your MCP in this cloud desktop. You can see that when you click on this icon, you can see that I have a MCP here, file system. And when I click on enable all tools and we have to restart it now. Uh, let me restart this cloud desktop. With the help of this MCP, now you can access all the files located on your desktop. This is a file system MCP. There are lots of MCP available. So now I'm going to ask a prompt like, list what are the folders are available in desktop. It should use the file system MCP and give us all the folders available in the desktop. You can see that. I will check what folders are available on the desktop for you. It will check what are the folders are available on the desktop. This is the power of using the MCP servers. You can see that we have the AA Correction, Django Portfolio and King's Restaurant. And this is the same folders that we have on the desktop as well. Here we have the AA Correction and we have the Django Portfolio and we have the King's Restaurant folder as well. So yeah, in this video, we're going to see how to create this own MCP server using Python. We can also give you a prompt play. Like, Create a new folder called Programming with Accommodation and create a new text file inside that as well. So this is our prompt. You can see that it will create the folder for us and inside that folder, it will create a text file for us. This is the power of using the file system MCP. So if you want to access the Google Drive, you have to use the Google Drive MCP. You can see that it has created the folder as well as the text file. Let me go to the desktop here. You can see we have the folder and inside this folder and we have this text file. And inside this text file, we have this sample content here, and it is created on May 11, 2025. So, yeah, let's get started. We're gonna see how to create our own MCP server using Python. So, let me close all of these and we can good to go. Let me delete this folder as well. So, this is the MCP website here, considered model context protocol, and they will give you all the protocols are screened here. If you want to read this, I will provide the link of this website in the description. I have already made a video on the MCP that is setting up the MCP for the cloud desktop. So if you want to watch that video, make sure you watch that video first before you watch this because in that video, I explained how you can set up the MCP for the cloud desktop. In that video, I have covered all the architecture of the MCP. So make sure you watch that video first, then continue ahead this video because in this video, I'm not going to dip into the setting up the MCP for the cloud. So that's why I'm telling, make sure you watch that video. And on the left hand side, you have an option called the Python SDK. Just click on that because we're gonna create our MCP server using the Python. Click on this Python SDK. And you can see that this is the GitHub page for the Python SDK. Here you can see that this is the Python SDK for the model context protocol, that is the MCP. And if you scroll down, they give you the overview as well as installation. Here consider you can install the MCP using the UV package manager as well or we can install it normally using the pick command. So I'm gonna install it normally using the pick command now. So let me copy this uh, pip command and I'm gonna open up the terminal. So let me open up the terminal and paste it here and press enter. This will install the MCP library for us. So just give you a few minutes, it will take some time to install. Once it's installed, we can good to go. Consider it starts downloading the library for us. Just give you a few minutes. Now the library has been installed successful. I'm gonna close this. And then we have sample or MCP code here. Consider the sample MCP code just exposes this uh, function here. So we expose any function. We're gonna use the decorator called the mcp.tool. So this tool function what it will do is this will so this will expose this function to the LLM consider here we have exposed this add function to the LLM the LLM can access this function consider this function expects two argument that is the a and b and it just returns the addition of these two numbers 
so the add decorator what it will do is it will expose the function and it will give to the LLM the LLM can access this function and perform the operation when we ask P to the LLM A plus B that's it inside this tool decorator we also have a resource decorator this resource decorator this is just a uh, sample decorator that will give us the result in a structure format you can see that so yeah let me copy the sample code and I'm gonna create a python file now so let me create a python file so inside this I'm gonna so the python file name will be first mcp.py and inside this python file let me copy and paste the content that we have copied now let me paste it here so there will be two decorators the first one is the tool decorator that is the mcp.tool and we also have the mcp.resource the tool decorator is important because it has the functionality it exposes the function to the LLM the LLM can access the function by passing the integer arguments and it can give us the data in a required format you can see that this add function it takes two arguments on the LLM and it just returns the addition of this so when we show you the demo you will get to understand what this tool decorator means so instead of returning just a plus b i'm gonna return a text along with it so i'm gonna use the uh, f string now so the addition of two numbers is so i'm gonna use a uh, placeholder now so inside this placeholder i'm gonna just return a plus b that's it so instead of returning just a plus b i'm gonna return this text along with it and below that we have the resources here so resources is just a normal decorator to return the data in a structure format and let's also rename the server to first mcp server so that's it so we have to run this so let me save this python file and i'm gonna copy this file path so let me right click and select this file path you can see that to run this we have to type this command mcp install and the name of the python file so let's do that now so before we proceed ahead you have to download this cloud desktop to do that just go to the website called cloud ai.download just head over to this website and download this cloud desktop it is available for windows as well as the mac os so make sure you download this i have already downloaded this that's the cloud desktop that you see on the earlier part of this video in the earlier part of this video i give you an example on without mcp and with mcp right that is the cloud desktop so after you have downloaded the cloud desktop then we can uh, install the server that we have created now so let me copy this file part and i'm gonna open the command prompt now so just type mcp install on the location where the python file is uh, located and press enter this will install the our mcp server that we have created to this card desktop let me clear this because we have to restart it You can see that now the server has been installed to the cloud desktop. I added a server, first MCP server to the cloud config. Successfully installed the first MCP server. So let's go to the cloud desktop now and we have to edit the configuration file. I'm gonna open up the cloud desktop and if you click on the three icon on the top uh, left hand side. So let me click on this new chat and if you click on the three icons you can see that currently we don't have the add mcp we only have the file system because we have to change something in the developer tools so just click on file and click on settings and below the settings we have an option called the developer you can see that we have a developer click on that and consider currently the file system mcp is only running the mcp that we have installed now is not running because we have to change the configuration so to do that just click on edit config you consider it will locate a file here so let me drag and drop this file to our editor you consider this is our configuration file here we have to change something here to run this we need a uh, tool called the uv consider the command is uv we have to install that so for that let's open up our command from one more time and just type pip install uv this will install the uv package for us and now the uv has been installed successfully consider requirement already satisfied let me clear the screen and we have to uh, pause where the UV is located to do that just type where UV consider this is the location where the UV is located let me copy this and we have to paste the location here so instead of using the single backslash we have to use the double backslash so let me put double backslash so let's put the double backslash now instead of the single backslash now we have now we have provided where the MCP is located right and 
we can save this and we good to go we just have to restart our cloud desktop consider this is the mcp server for the file system and this is the mcp server that we have installed now so let me clo uh, close all of these and let's also close the cloud desktop and let's try to uh, restart now so just click on this reload button this will reload the cloud desktop for us now when you restart the cloud desktop and if you click on this uh, icon here consider now we got the uh, mcp server that we have installed now first mcp server when you click on this consider we have the add tool here this is the same tool that we have earlier seen right it takes two arguments that is the a comma b and it just returns the sum of two numbers you can also verify this uh, mcp server by going to file and click on settings and under the settings we have a developer click on developer consider currently two mcp server is running so let me close this and just test the mcp server that we have installed now so what is 6 plus 6 use the tool and if you click on press it will use our tool that we have created now to add the two numbers it will take two arguments that is the a and b let's see what it does so let's click on allow always and you consider it is assigning the two values to the a comma b so this will pass the a comma b to the function that we have defined here consider you consider this the function that we have exposed to the LNA. so the llm use this function and it, it will determine the addition of these two numbers you consider the sum of six plus six is twelve now we have seen the add tool right you consider we have the add tool i have created another mcp server here so inside this mcp server you consider I have created this another MCP server. So this MCP uh, server has two tool functions. You consider get top chatters as well as the add chatter. What it does is it will access the database for us and it will search for the top chatters. You consider it will access the X SQL database. We have the community.db database. It will access who are the top chatters. And we also have the option to add the chatter list for us. This is the get top chatter tool consider it will display the name as well as its messages and below that we have the add chatter tool you consider this will take the name as well as the messages and you consider it will create a database if the database is not present and it will add the name as well as the messages to the community.db so that's it we have these two mcb tools right and we have this uh get top chatters as, as well as the add chatters let me show you the demo of these two so further we have to install this mcp server to the cloud desktop so let me copy this file part so that let me right click and select this copy file part and i'm going to open up the command prompt so to install this just type mcp install and place the location and press enter this will install the mcp server for us now the mcp server has been added consider added community chatters to the cloud config and we have to edit something in the uh, configuration right so just go to the cloud desktop and just click on this three icon and click on file and click on settings and here you have to select the developer and click on edit config so let me drag and drop this configuration file to our file editor and here we have this file and now we have this third mcp server now community chatter and we have to uh, pass the uv location here let me copy this part so i'm gonna replace this so let me replace it here and let me clear this because we don't need this so that's it so let me save this and we have to restart the cloud desktop now so let me save this and i'm gonna minimize this what we can do is we can just close this and we can restart the cloud desktop now so let me refresh the cloud desktop now So let me clear all of these and I'm gonna refresh the cloud desktop. Let me open up the cloud desktop one more time. Here you can see now when you click on this, you can see that we have this community chatter MCP and we have these two MCP top or uh, chatters as well as the add chatter. Using the add chatter, we can add the uh, chatter list to the database and using the get top chatter, we can get the what the top chatters from the database. So let's try to use the top chatter now. So for the top chatter from the database and click on the enter button you consider it is asking us to use the community chatter just click on allow always i will retrieve the top chatter from the database for you it seems like the database doesn't have a chatter table so we consider we just get a database 
And that's why it says this, the database doesn't have anything. So I'm going to add some chatters to the database now. So add the sample chatters to the database. So this time it will use the add a chatter tool. Earlier it will use the get chatter uh, tool. Now it will use the add a chatter tool. Consider, consider it is asking the permission for the add a chatter community chatter tool. Just click on allow always. It will use the tool to uh, enter all the chatter list to the database. Consider I have successfully added Kumar extent to the database and along with it, it will add some random uh, sample data to the database as well. So I'm going to pause this and we will continue after it added some sample data to the database. Consider it had added something sample data to the database and let's try to use the tool now. Yes, uh, now tell me for other top chatters. Let's see if we got the data now. It is calling the database real time using the tool that we have defined. I will retrieve the current top chatters from the database now. We consider the top chatters from the database are the Vijay, Omar, Mohammed, and Dam. Consider these are the top chatters from the database. And what is the difference between me as well as the Omar? Let's see if we got the accurate number. The difference between Kumarasan as well as the Omar is on 9. Let's see. Uh, actually, it is 11. Consider Omar has sent 11 more messages than Kumarishan and we have this number here and Omar is ranked second and Kumarishan is 14 and Omar is hired by two positions. So let's try to add one more query now. How many messages does Kumarishan need to add to get to the top? So just click on this enter button. To add this, you consider it is using the add MCP server that we have created. You consider I have to add 18 more messages to get to the top. So yeah, this is it. This is how you use a MCP server using Python. We have access the database real time using the LLM. This is the power of using the MCP servers. We have created the database using the LLM. And we also see how to access the file system located on your desktop using the MCP as so. So yeah, this is one example of using the MCP servers. That is coding the database like we have done here. And we can also create the file system. You can create the folders, you can access the folders as well. So yeah, there are many MCP servers available out there. In the next video, we're going to see how to create a, our own client. In this video, we have seen how to use the cloud client, right? We have used the cloud desktop asset client. In the next video, we're going to see how to create our own MCP client as well as the our own MCP server. So this is for this video and we will continue in the next one.